Hello everyone. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. Today I'm going to talk about the Monstera dubia. I have to apologize to my viewers because I have been mispronouncing this plant all along. I have been, call uh, been calling it a dubium. <laughs> um, I'm sure you'll forgive me, but I'd rather not give any information than give wrong information, especially when it comes to the my YouTube channel, so I apologize for that. But anyway, it is dubia. It's Monstera dubia. And it is a climbing plant. I, I've heard it referred to as a shingling plant. <clears throat> and I did do quite a bit of research on this recently and I found out something really interesting about this plant. This is the baby and it when it gets when it's in its natural habitat which I believe if I remember correctly, it was in Central and South America. I believe that's what I read. Please don't hold me to that, but it's really not that important. Um, what's important is the care that you give it, and we're going to talk about that today. Um, but I wanted to mention that in my research, I found several uh, sites, several um, uh, videos, or paragraphs, if you will, information that talked about this plant as an adult. And it says that when it grows up, generally it grows on the forest floor, and then it works its way up, you know, the trees and branches and vines and things that it can grow up. And it will attach itself kind of flat against that surface. However, once it gets past the top of that, whatever it is it's attaching itself to, and reaches full sun, um, my understanding is that it turns into more of a, what we would know as a traditional Monstera Deliciosa type look. The leaves get bigger, they get full of fenestrations. In fact, I, I think on one of them I read that you, you won't even recognize it, the leaf because it'll have so many fenestrations in it and the leaves will get huge. So these, I guess, are considered the babies, you know, of how they... I don't know the difference between this and the actual Monstera Deliciosa. That might be something to do a video on in the future. But for now, we're going to concentrate on this one. I got this cutting from my friend um, Susie from Suzette's Gardens quite a while ago, probably last year sometime. And <clears throat> as you can see... It, it's growing, but it's nothing to write Aunt Sally about, is it? I mean, it's it's really kind of sad looking. Um, the person that she got the cutting from said her, she said her cutting wasn't very good either. And I think she's had a little more success with hers than I have with mine, but uh, let me see if I can get you in the camera here. Um... <clears throat> We're going. We're 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 going to repot this today and see what we can do with it. And I'm going to bring you in a little closer because I'm looking in my camera lens and I'm not seeing. You're not seeing what I want you to see. So just bear with me while I do a little adjustment here. It's um. Let's see if this helps. There we go. That's what I want you to see. Okay. All right. So to begin with, um, there's quite a few different ways that you can go with this plant. Um, I heard one YouTuber say that uh, he her had heard that these will actually grow up 
glass surfaces. And right away my brain started going and I'm thinking, ooh, that sounds cool. What can I use? What can I use? I really don't have anything other than maybe the glass shelving in my medicine cabinet. And I don't think Hubby would be too happy if I sacrificed that. So we're going to go ahead and do it as planned. Um, maybe someday in the future if I have success with this, I might even purchase some or get some at a, at a thrift store. And we might try that. But anyways, this piece of wood that you're looking at here is a piece of cedar. It's from our old siding on our house. So it's cedar wood, so it, it won't rot. Well, it's not supposed to rot. I imagine if it's getting wet, at some point it might. And um, <clears throat> I do have another plant that I staked up on wood, but that was pine, so I did wrap that in cellophane before, you know, just the bottom, the part that was going to be wet. I don't think I need to do that with this one, and I'm not going to take the time to because I think this will be okay in here. <clears throat> uh, okay, before I put it in this pot, I want to show you some of the things that we can use here. I'm going to add a little of this. I get this at uh, Lowe's. This is called River Rock, I believe. Yeah, Kalahari River Rocks. I've used this for a lot of things. I use it for a top dressing on my cactus and succulents sometimes, and I use it in my mixture. Um, and I'm going to use a little of it today because what we want here is a porous but rich soil. So we want, I, I started out with a kind of a peaty soil, potting soil from um, Fox Farm. And uh, I've been using that lately and it seems to be working out really well. So. Okay, and that's my mixture to start with. I've got, I've got, this is a, a potting soil, kind of heavy in, in peat, and then lots of perlite. I believe there is a little bark in here, which I did not put in here. This was part of that soil. But I'm going to just leave it in there for now. I'm going to add a little bit of my river rock, and I'm adding this because I don't want this to get compact and I want it to breathe and this doesn't uh, break down in the soil so that's why I'm using it. Now I know some people use um, pumice and I wish we could get that here. I'm in southeastern Wisconsin and I've checked almost every time I go to Stein's or you know the big box stores and nobody carries it and they keep telling me we get tons of requests for that and I said well why don't you tell your manager or your person that does the ordering I've told them a million times so that's as far as you know what we can do about it um, but it would be nice if they would start carrying that because it is a very good um, source of um, material for your plants and you can get it on the West Coast, which is like, no problem. And I know that you can order it on Amazon, too, but it's very heavy. So the uh, shipping costs are probably astronomical. So, no, I'm not doing that, but this will work just as well. So, as you can see now, it's, it's got a little bit of, you know, where it's not sticking together. And that's what we want. And the reason for that is this: these roots on this plant, I guess, like... They like to be kept evenly moist, but they don't like wet roots. Well, that's a pretty hard thing to accomplish, isn't it? I mean, it is for me. Um, there's a fine line between evenly moist and wet soil. So, what that is, I don't know. But that's partly why I added that stone, so that a lot of you know aeration can happen within the soil. But I can also keep it kind of on the evenly moist side. So, we're, you know, is, is that going to work? Am I going to be successful? I don't know. Um, I am not an expert on this by any means, folks. But that's what I'm going to try. So, um, I'm going to start by... Oh, and then I wanted to show you here, too. We've got several different ways of, of attaching this. Um... I used to do um, 
gatherings and weddings and, and things, a table that I did floral arrangements and um, bridal party arrangements and years ago as, uh, on the side of my full-time job and 50th wedding anniversaries and things like that. So I had a lot of this kind of stuff um, I still have and I, and I kept it because it's not cheap and I thought well I might find a use for it someday and I do I still occasionally I still will have a reason to make up a bouquet for a friend or for somebody so but anyways this is um, this is floral wire this is painted stem wire it's called and it's 22 gauge you can get this in different gauges and that just means different thicknesses so one bends easier than the other and sometimes you don't want it to bend too much and other times you want it to be very flexible. So it just depends on what your need is. But this is one way of attaching this plant to this to this board. Um, another way is to use floral tape. Now this does not have a stickiness on it. It's um it's a stretchy tape that when you're making corsages you're wrapping this around the stem and then sticking another flower and wrapping this around the stem and that's what this is used for and it is a it's a stretchy stretchy tape okay and it kind of sticks to itself even though it's not sticky it's got kind of a waxy film on it and I think that might be what I'm going to use today I'm not sure yet and then there's the Velcro, which that works really great too. But I want to save this for my bigger plants um, just because it's it's adjustable. You can reuse it a million times. And uh, I want I try I like to use these on my my big my monstera and my salome and and those types of plants. So that's that. And then last but not least is my twine. I have different color twine, but this happens to be my green one, which I thought was wonderful because it'll blend in with the plant. So I think this is going to be my choice today to tie this this beautiful little little plant up here. And let's see if we can get him to grow properly. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that has happened here is the leaves in the middle are... I don't know if you can see that. If I can get that up there with one hand. They're 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 almost they're deformed looking. And usually when I see that it's a sign of some type of pest. But there there what this there were no pests. This is this really has something to do with the light or the lack of or the watering or the lack of. I'm just not sure. But as I go down this trail you'll see that these other leaves on the end are getting bigger and they're not quite as deformed and the only thing I did different was I put it in a little brighter light so that was the key to fixing my problem so I'm going to take now and cut a few Well, let's put some dirt in here first. Your soil. Have you? Oh. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it up towards the end. get it too much in the middle here because the plant is going to grow on the front of this so I want to make sure that I have enough room in the front so I want to get this kind of towards the back I think I'm just going to use my scooper here it'll be easier maybe I don't know then again maybe not <laughs> it's hard to say these days 
Maybe a, a smaller bowl or container would have been better, but oh well, it's all right. It's just fine. Okay. There, she's standing up by herself. Ooh. All right. And then... <clears throat> Gonna have to mix a little more. A little bit more river left here. And I already have quite a bit of perlite in my soil. I, I keep my soil in a big gray tub with a lid. And then on top of that I have my big black open tub. And that's where I mix all my soil. And once it goes in the black open tub, I add my perlite to it. And then it's ready to go for planting in my whenever I am in the mood or able to physically, then uh, I'll, I'll be ready to go. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. I don't want to put too much in because, whoops. All right, now we're going to take her out of this pot and we're going to put her in the I normally use my green, my lime green bowl here to put my old dirt in, but since I'm, I used that to mix the soil today. I gotta have somewhere to put this old dirt. I do not like to reuse soil unless it's just been recently repotted and I don't remember how long ago I did this one so I don't want to I don't want to take any chances it's just not worth it <laughs> the little bit of soil that I might be wasting here is not worth the possibility of losing a whole plant now this was came along in my when I repotted it last and judging by the very teeny tiny edges of this plant this looks like a uh, kalanchoe I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to end up being so I'm going to pot that it's got a root on it why not right okay and here you can see she's got a pretty good root system on there and they're healthy they're not well, they're pretty firm. I don't, I don't, I don't feel anything that's not in good shape. I'm going to set that aside and put her in here. Okay. Now, before I add the dirt, I'm going to cut a piece of twine. And let me see how big a piece do I need. And I don't want to waste. Okay. Stick this under 
here. This is when it's it would be really handy to have that extra person. And my inclination when I look in my viewfinder and can't see is to move it closer to the camera when in fact what I need to do is move it further away for you to see. So it's kind of backwards for me. But okay, here we go. Alright, so we got the first one in. Yeah, because this is so curly, I'm going to have to get her down in there further. I'm not going to try and straighten her out here because if I do, there is a very good chance I might break her. So I'm going to leave her like that just to get the root down in there. And I'm going to start filling that in. Got a doctor appointment for my eyes today. I am so excited. I've never been so excited to go to an eye doctor appointment in my life. It's been so long since I've been and my eyes are getting so bad and my my um, my glasses aren't working. They actually, when I put them on, they make things more blurry if you can believe that. So that kind of set me off into a little bit of a panic and I, I'm like, oh my goodness. So, my husband says that um, his mom used to rave about Walmart glasses. Well, I would never think to go to Walmart for my glasses, and I'm a little bit leery about it, but she, he said she went there from, almost from the time they opened, and uh, she quit going to the regular place. And they have a regular doctor there, too. It's not just a you know, place where they go and run the eye chart, chart before you. So they will check for eye diseases and glaucoma and all those things. And uh, I forget what they said the price was. It, it was pretty inexpensive. I remember that. On, 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 I want to say maybe 60 or under $60. Which, and then their glasses are really inexpensive too. So my eye doctor, they, he used to charge, I don't know, $80, I think, for the eye exam, which at the time, the insurance that we had covered it, but the glasses, you know, started at three, dollars $400, and I needed two pair. So, that was always a huge expense. So, when my husband suggested Walmart, I said, well, for that kind of money, what do I got to lose, right? So, that's how that happened. So, I can't wait. To have glasses that I can put on and actually see what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Now this is where we're going to run into trouble here. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. <laughs> oh, I picked the right month to be afraid. It's October. Halloween's right around the corner. Oh, come on. Stay down in there, please. Please, for me. No, not going to. Okay. Well, all right then, if you're going to be stubborn, we're going to have to find another way to do it. How about like that? There. No? Okay, a little higher. Hey. I've never done one of these before. So, bear with me, my friends. There. I think that'll do it. Okay. Now, I'm 
I'm not sure if I want it. Maybe I will try the well, I mean, I really don't need, it doesn't need to be that strong as the twine is. Maybe I'll try this floral tape. off later. Yeah, I think I like how that's working. Okay. And maybe we don't even need to cut this. Maybe we should just keep going with it. Alright. I have to stand up here. I'm trying to get it I think I just I'm trying to give you guys the best possible view here, but it's not working too well. What I'm trying to do is get this floral tape. It's got to be in front of the main stem, but behind the leaf. We do not want to get this in front of the leaf. It's, it's the leaf's got to be free. And yeah, how about we just go up a little higher? <clears throat> yeah, I think that'll work. Uh-oh. Hmm. I had no idea this was going to be this long. I don't know what I was thinking. Well... I know I can go down the back side of it, but then it's not going to have the light that I want it to have. It's not going to be get the same amount of light on both sides. <sighs> this isn't going to work. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this off at the top. Well, I just don't like the way this whole thing is turning out, so... I am going to undo this. Hmm. 
Well, this is one of those deals where you think you got it figured out until you don't. I'm going to start by cutting off these extra stems here. And I'm really... I'm sure that there's probably a better way to do this, but I think for my purposes of my video and my uh, inability here, my, my, I should say my, my limited ability uh, due to my arm injuries here, I'm just, I'm not sure, I, I don't, I can't really do what I want to do here. So I think what, what I will do I almost want to cut this off and plant it and or root it in water. I I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. And and the reason is because right now it's right now I got it right the way I want it. So I'm going to tie it up. I sure hope you can see what I'm doing here. If not, I I apologize. All right. And that's why I hesitated to do this on camera because I knew it was going to be hard to to maneuver without having somebody help me film. You know, because it's tall and the camera's in the I'm sorry, the Okay. I don't want this stem sitting on top of the soil. Okay. There. Made the decision. And I have to just not think so hard about it because if it's if it's not the best thing, it's not the end of the world. But either way it should work. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm really after here, folks, is and I I want the top of this, and of course you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I want the top of this to be full, but <clears throat> these this branch that was connected to it is going way above that, and. I don't know what to do about that. And like I said, I know I can have it go down the back side, but then they're not going to get the same amount of light. All right, so I'm just going to cut another strip of this floral tape. I'm going to tie this up.
and we're going to just wait and see what happens. And in the meantime, okay, and it's kind of stretchy, so this really is a good choice for this method because as the plant grows, if it gets thicker, it won't it won't cut it off. It won't it won't squish the stem. It'll expand. Okay. All right. That is where we're going to leave this for today. And this I'm going to put in water. I'm going to check though. I th I think I don't know. I want to. I mean, I know in most monsteras you can monstera you can do in water or soil, but. I'm very, very um, new when it comes to this particular uh, plant. So, ah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut it and put it in soil. What's the worst that can happen? It'll die. Huh. I actually can see some tiny little. roots growing off of the stem so I think that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna <clears throat> I just put a little water in here I didn't bring my bottled water but Got a little on my spray bottle. Okay. And I guess the reason this one is a little more difficult is because it's a shingling plant. And by shingling, for those of you who may not know, um, <clears throat> it's going to lay flat and it's going to grow over itself. Like uh, lap siding on a house. You know, it kind of goes over. Or the old aluminum siding, if you remember that. You know, wood siding too does that. It's, it's, it laps over itself. And that's what these do. So, um, that's why I have to be a little extra careful here how I'm attaching this to this wood because it's it's not going to drape down. Eventually, it's going to attach itself to this cedar um, plank, and it's going to lay flat up against there. So, what's going to happen is these are possible could possibly get in the way of that I don't know but we're gonna see I'm gonna leave it in here I I'm feeling good about this though you know sometimes when I do something with my plants I get that feeling like oh I probably maybe I shouldn't have done that but I'm not feeling that this time yay <laughs> I, I'm feeling good about my decision okay so <sighs> Well, that was a job and a half, and it shouldn't have been, but. All right. Well, I, I know that I, I know that my videos aren't for everyone, folks. I know that some people get bored to death with mine, and, and that's okay. I don't mind, um, you know, to each his own. Uh, I have, I had one guy make a comment one time, uh, I don't know, something to the effect of 40 minutes for, to, to 40 minute a 40 minute video to repot a, a purple waffle plant jeez 
But that's all he said, and I, I had a kind of giggle, and I thought, well, first of all, if you'd have watched the video, you'd have seen that that isn't all that it was about. It was a very informative video on other things, too. But, you know, there are a lot of people who do like them. I have people that uh, contact me on Instagram that I speak with that the public doesn't see that love my long videos, and they don't mind that they're you know, quote-unquote, on the boring side. They, they're relaxing for them, and those are the people that I'm that I'm making these for. So I hope you like it. I want to make everybody happy, but I can't do that, and neither can you, and neither should we try. So I hope for those of you that like my long videos, you like this one, and um, I don't know if I've if you've learned anything from it, I, I'm learning as I go here. This is a new a new thing for me, this plant. But I, I at one point I almost gave up on it. it. Like I said, I had this leaf for a very long time and it it didn't um, it didn't do anything. And then when I did start to get the growth it was it was so minimal. So, I don't know. And then I, I was trying to decide if I should put the um, sphagnum moss on the pole before I did this. And I'm sure some of you might think that I should have and maybe I should have I don't know but when I heard that they can grow on glass I thought well then I really don't need the sphagnum moss because you wouldn't have sphagnum on glass and I know that it's a, a way to help keep the moisture in addition to having something to hang on to but this is going to have no problem hanging on to the cedar and it uh there. it will uh <clears throat> it'll grow up that cedar and it'll it'll hang on to that just fine. And no it's not gonna get the benefit of the moisture, but that's okay too. I'm not I'm not good about misting plants. I used to be a heavy mister until I ended up with a fungus problem. I don't, I don't, I don't do that anymore. Um, and I don't think it's necessary. I mean, I, I like I often say, I've, I've raised plants my whole life and I've never missed it before. I think that's something that's become popular in the last couple, two years or so. Um, but it's not something that I ever used to do. And I, I'm not sure that it's necessary. Maybe in some cases, but, um, you know, not necessary to keep the plant alive. It might help it to flourish faster. But, <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm going to end this video before it turns into a two-hour video over one plant. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Again, this is a Monstera dubia. And it's, uh, we'll see what happens. I hope you come back for an update and... I just hope that it, uh, I hope that these leaves get bigger and, it, and it's a success at some point. All right, my friends, thank you again for joining me, and um, I hope you all are enjoying your day. We've got some sunshine here today, thank goodness. It's been raining here for a day or two again, and that's the, what we get this time of year. So, But I have some exciting videos coming up, I think, in the near future. I'm going to be doing... Uh, God willing, in my health holdout, I'm going to be doing some major rearranging here of my plants before winter sets in. And one of that is going to include the moving of my, um, all of my begonias. They have outgrown their space, and I need to do something. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out where they're going to go and where they're going to be happy. And <clears throat> I'm working on that right now, and once I get that all in place... Then you guys, will, I'm going to be doing a tour here in the in the not too distant future. Um, I wouldn't look for it in the next week or so, but in, hopefully before the 
before November is out, I will have that done. And in the meantime, I hope you all stay happy and healthy and hope you come back. If you like my videos and you want to see more, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know anybody that would enjoy my channel, spread the word. Um, tell them to subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right. You all have a great day. Bye now.